Good morning dear students. Today we are going to start unit 13 and the topic is in and out of school. In unit 13 you are going to read about different types of school present all over the world. In our today's lesson you are going to learn the correct use of preposition followed by ing. Here I'm guide I'm going to guide you how to solve the exercises on course book and workbook. Here in exercise one you are going to read the comments on the website about talk, uh, talking in class, who think it's a good idea and why. I mean, these, are different, uh, these are the comments of some students on a website. They have given their views that is it a good idea to talk during the class or it is better to keep quiet while the lesson is going on. So first of all, you will read all these comments carefully. Then, after reading these comments, we will move to exercise 2. Here, you have to say that who do you agree with? Who do you disagree with? You have to give your own opinion. You can write your opinion that, that this student is I mean, you agree with Tammy sharing ideas with friend helps me to learn. You have to uh, mean, uh, like you have to select two comments, one which you agree and one which you disagree. You write this on your notebook. Then, for access, uh, before you do exercise three, you will watch the short video. I have shared the link with you. You will watch that video carefully. After that, you will come to exercise 1 again. Here, you will underline the examples of the position followed by ING. For example, here is 1. Instead of interrupting. Here off is preposition and after the verb is interrupt and you use ing with it. After writing that, after underlining that some examples of verb followed by ing, so preposition followed by I, verb with ing, you will do exercise 3 on your book. After doing exercise 3 on your book, we will move forward to exercise 5. Here it is written speaking, but you will answer all these questions on your notebook one by one. No need to write questions, just write answers. Give number and write answers. There are four questions. After that, you will move to exercise 6. Exercise 6, you have to write a short paragraph about how you learn best. The best way to answer this question is to follow answers of the questions of exercise 5. Like when you write the answers of ex questions of exercise 5 on your notebook, if you arrange those answers, you can have a short paragraph about yourself. So this is the work that you have to do on your uh, course book. After completing your work on course book, you will move to your workbook. We will start by exercise 1. Here, you have to complete the discussion using the phrases in the, bo in the box. When there are 10 phrases given here, you have to fill these gaps with the correct phrase 
from this box. In exercise 2, you have to give your own opinion about the school life. You will complete these sentences on your notebook. For exercise 3, you have to use correct proposition to fill these gaps. In exercise 4, you have to complete the sentences with words in the ing form to make them true for you. In exercise 5, there are some spelling mistakes. You have to just cross the wrong spelling and you have to make the correction with the space given at the end. Before the end of this lesson, I will share the correct answers with you.